Emert International was awarded the contract to transport six heat exchangers. The contract and responsibilities included picking up the heat exchangers at the manufacturer's site in France and delivery to the job site in Arizona, which included road, barge, heavy lift ship, and rail transport. The complexity of the project was due to the fact that each of the exchangers weighed in at 715,671 pounds and measured in at 53 feet 2 inches long, 9 feet 3 inches wide, and 11 feet 6 inches tall. The exchangers were manufactured in chalon sur saone France. The heat exchangers were transported two at a time from the manufacturer. The exchangers were transported by road using hydraulic platform trailers following the permitted route from the manufacturer's facility to a suitable nearby dock area. Here, they were lifted onto a barge using the dock's overhead crane and secured to the satisfaction of the marine surveyor. The exchangers were transported along the river system to the port of Fossimer, France. At the port, following customs formalities, the exchangers were loaded directly from the barge onto a heavy lift ship using the ship's gear. Following lashing and securing to the satisfaction of the marine surveyor, the ship sailed for the port of Houston. Upon arrival in the USA and following customs inspections and clearances, the exchangers were lifted by the ship's onboard cranes directly onto the Emert International rail cars with specially designed bolsters positioned adjacent to the dock. Emert International tied down the exchangers to the satisfaction of the rail inspector and loaded the rail cars, then moved them along a designated rail route in a special train to the rail siding in Gila Bend, Arizona. Emmert used two 12-axle flat-deck rail cars, which meant that the load had to be supported on bolsters and turntables positioned in the center of the car's deck. The exchangers were not long enough to span this distance, so carrying frames had to be introduced between the bolsters, onto which the exchangers would be secured for the journey. The two rail cars tended to introduce torsion into the load, as one rail car would inevitably be on a different cross slope to the other as the train enters or leaves a curved section of the track. The heat exchanger designers also specified that the heat exchanger not be twisted or torsional loaded during its journey. Emmert designed the bolstered rail car deck with sufficient torsional rigidity to ensure the heat exchanger was not twisted or damaged during transport. Emmert International released the tie downs and offloaded the exchangers. The exchangers were positioned directly onto the hydraulic platform trailers, securely tied down, and were ready for transport. Each of the exchangers would have to be transported from a site in Gila Bend, Arizona, 20 miles west across the desert. Additional complications would be attributed to the intense heat, the monsoon rains, and the available routes to move this amount of weight. The first task set before Emmert International was to establish a suitable route for the transport of the exchangers, obtain the proper clearances from state and county agencies, and propose a transport vehicle to meet all requirements for the project. With necessary route approvals and engineering of the transport vehicles, Emmert began mobilizing personnel and equipment to Arizona. A detailed transport plan had to be devised, taking into consideration that the only available route to travel the 20 miles would include 10 miles of unimproved dirt farm roads with several very low-lying areas that could potentially be affected by the rainy season. A 16-line THP SL Goldhofer was chosen as the transport vehicle due to the trailer's capacity and maneuverability. The trailer would be pulled and pushed by two counterweighted prime movers to supply the required power needed for this transport. In order to prepare the route, eight loads of laminated mats had to be shipped and placed in various areas of the farm roads to compensate for the weak ground conditions in the low-lying areas. During the transport of the first two exchangers, all went according to plan. Upon delivery of the second exchanger, the monsoon rains came, making the original haul route completely impassable. The alternate route was still through the farm and had a bit more of improved dirt roads, but this route had three irrigation canal bridges on it. The irrigation canals feed the entire farm with water needed for the daily operations. If any of the bridges were to fail, it would severely cripple the farm's overall operations. In order to use the alternate route, 
Special permission had to be obtained from the private landowners and the irrigation board. A plan had to be put in place to cross the irrigation canal bridges without causing any damage. The plan for crossing the bridges was to span them with steel ramps, shimmed up high enough to clear the bridge and transfer the load back into the abutments. Due to severe angles of the approaches, additional matting had to be used to reduce the angle. This would allow for the smoothest transition, allowing the trucks and the trailer to negotiate the crossings easily. This road was the main road for all farm operations, so extra coordination had to be used while preparing the route to ensure the safety of farm and Emmert personnel. Additional matting was required in several areas of the road in order to protect other irrigation and drainage pipes. Emmert was allowed to leave all route preparation equipment in place for the transport of the next two exchangers, but had to remove all equipment until the final two exchangers were ready for transport. The haul route took approximately two days to install all material needed for the transport of the exchangers and two days to remove the material each time this evolution was executed. This time would include two shuttle trucks moving in and out 10 loads of equipment used to execute the preparation. Four personnel and two forklifts were used for the installation and removal of equipment. The transport of the exchangers was executed by two drivers, one supervisor, one operator, and three spotters. After the resolution of the alternate haul route, the preparation plan for that route, and the additional coordination, the transportation of the four remaining exchangers was executed with minimal difficulty. This illustrates that proper planning combined with a contingency plan result in successful completion even if the original plan fell by the wayside. After completion of all six transports, Emmert personnel began disassembly of the transport vehicle, cleaning and restoring all areas to original condition and demobilizing equipment from the site. Emmert International was awarded the contract to lift and set six heat exchangers. The complexity of the project was due to the fact that each of the exchangers weighed 715,671 pounds and measured 53 feet 2 inches long, 9 feet 3 inches wide, and 11 feet 6 inches tall. Each of the exchangers had to be lifted from a transport vehicle through an access hole in the deck of the platform and transported over the support pedestals. This was accomplished while working on top of an existing incomplete platform 52 feet in the air, along with multiple contractors working in the same area on different jobs. Another major concern and difficulty of the project was extreme weather conditions while executing the project. Extreme heat, high winds, and the rainy season in the area would have an extreme impact on the project. The first task set before Emmert International was to engineer a lift plan, utilizing the existing platform structure that would support the lift system and the weight of two exchangers per platform without overloading the platform during the lift and placement of the heat exchangers. Special consideration had to be given, as the existing structure had specific load points on the platform which required the weight of Emmert's specialized long-span lifting system to be focused only in these areas. To execute the lifts, it was decided that the use of a 700-ton JNR hydraulic gantry on Emmert's 90-foot gantry beams in conjunction with four HSL 2,200 ton strand jacks would be the safest, most efficient system to use. Here, Emmert personnel began receiving and assembling the equipment required for the execution of the scope of work. Due to the very limited room and access to the exchanger platform, most of the equipment had to arrive just in time for the lifting onto the platform for installation. To install the lift system on top of the platform, a 550-ton crane was used to assist the placement of the equipment. Such a large crane had to be used due to the weight of the specially engineered gantry tracks weighing 45,000 pounds each and two of the four sections would need to be set at a 110-foot radius on top of a 52-foot platform. Assembly of the lift system began with the installation of blocking on top of the platform's main support towers. The blocking was placed in a total of eight locations, four locations per side on the platform, followed by specially designed support beams, one per location. 
Once the support beams were in place, the four large custom-engineered gantry tracks were lifted, two per side, set into place and pinned together creating two 90-foot runways. On top of the gantry tracks, four legs of the 700-ton JNR hydraulic gantry were placed, topped off with two 80-foot-long header beams specially designed for these lifts. To finish the lift system, two strand jack assemblies, each consisting of two 200-ton strand jacks for a total of four strand jacks were installed. After completion of assembly, all wiring and installation of hydraulics were inspected. With the lift system complete and all safety checks and function tests performed, the first of two exchangers for this platform were positioned underneath the platform. When centered up in the access hole, the rigging was lowered and each of the strand jacks connected. Once the connections were made, the strand jacks were tensioned and final safety checks were made. A pre-lift safety briefing was conducted with all personnel that were associated with the lifting and setting of the exchanger. After all checks were made, the lift continued up through the access hole in the platform until reaching the appropriate height for travel over the top of the support pedestals. The 700-ton gantry was then used to transport the exchanger over the pedestals to begin the alignment phase. Once over the pedestals, the exchanger was lowered one end at a time as the exchangers were set at an angle. Bolts were installed and the exchanger was released from the rigging. The lift system was moved back to the center of the platform and the rigging lowered to the ground to await the next exchanger. The remaining five exchangers were set in the same fashion. Two exchangers per platform on three different platforms for a total of six lifts. After completing the remainder of the exchanger lifts, Emirate personnel began disassembling the lift system, cleaning and restoring all areas to original condition and demobilizing equipment from the site. The entire project finished ahead of schedule with no injury to personnel or damage to property. This was accomplished with teamwork and the mindset of Emert International that safety comes first for all personnel and equipment involved in any evolution. Emert International achieved this through the highest quality in safety, engineering, logistics and craftsmanship.